I'm Nikki and welcome to the Preppy Possum. Today I'm going to lead you step by step through a painting. So let's paint a sunflower. Let's start out by grabbing like a number eight size brush and dry it off and grab some really dark brown. And we're just going to skip in from the bottom right hand corner of our canvas at least like four or five inches and throw you a little mark, just a little placeholder. And then I'll skip over another five, six inches and throw another little mark as a placeholder. And then I'm just gonna do a big whoop to connect them. So like you're going over the top of a ball. So just go big, because we want our sunflower to take up most of our canvas. So this is a fall sunflower, so we're gonna use lots of oranges and some reds, some wine color, but just go big with your big whoop. And then once you have your whoop on there, go ahead and skip to the middle of it and we're going to add a smaller little circle, so like the size of a grapefruit. So now it kind of looks like a chocolate donut hanging on the edge there. And then once you get that, grab a bunch of the dark brown and we're just gonna fill in our whole donut. So that whole ring, that whole outside ring there. So just grab a lot of paint for right now and we're just kind of fill it in any which way because we're gonna come back and add a lot to it. that you have a good little layer through your donut. Let's go ahead, you don't have to wipe out your brush, just grab some black, and we're gonna fill in the whole middle with some black. And then once you get all the middle, so take it all the way to your dark brown with the black. Then go ahead and you can just wipe that one off and chunk it in the water and let's grab our huge brush. So the biggest brush in your cup and dry it off and we're gonna grab like a caramel brown, so like a light brown. And we're gonna get all the big areas on our background first. So a humongous brush, so like a number, like a one inch or so, whatever big brush you have, and a really light brown, and just throw you a good layer through your background. But for right now, we're just gonna get all the big areas, so don't worry about getting right up next to your donut. Leave a little bit of space. We can come back with a smaller brush in just a second and get all the way up against it. Just keep grabbing a ton of paint. And it doesn't matter like which way you go. We're just kind of getting a layer on there right now. So layer through all the big areas.
Just leave a little smidge of space around the dark brown. Because we'll come back right now and get all the way up against it. But once you have all those big areas, go ahead and just wipe off your extra and chunk that one in the water. And now let's grab a little bit smaller size brush. So a number eight's a good size and dry it off. And we're gonna grab some more of that same brown. And now you're gonna get all the way up next to your dark. Don't worry if it mixes in a little bit cause our, we'll cover it up later anyway. All right, so you don't want any canvas showing between your background and your donut. And then once we have that, we'll just keep that same brush and just grab some milk chocolate brown with a little bit of dark brown. So like some milk chocolate color and the dark brown with that same sized brush. So like a number eight's a good size. And load it with a lot of paint. And then you just wanna be really light. So kind of hit with the side of your brush. So don't stab it stra straight on. You kind of hit with the side and dab. And we're gonna do little dabs all through our donut shape. So just load your brush with a lot of paint. And you just kinda wanna dab with the side of your brush. Don't worry that your dark brown's still super wet. And we'll come back and bump bump again. So don't worry that you know, if it's not getting it just how you want it. But once you have a bunch of those bumps, it's just that milk chocolate with the dark, then you can even grab a little bit more of the dark brown with a tiny bit of black. And let's throw some of those bumps. And you can even kind of throw a few over your edge just to get rid of that perfect line. So now we have some bumps going on towards more towards the outside to give us that bumpy edge. So then just kind of wipe off your extra and grab a little bit of dark gray and black. So dark gray with some black and we're going to throw some of those bumps all through your black center. So you want some dark gray with a little bit of black and then we're just going to do those little bumps all through the center and just load your brush with a lot of paint and then just kind of dab with the side of your brush. You don't want to stab and make the bristles go out. You just kind of want to dab with the side. And then we can always come back and dab again too. But if it gets too light on you, you know, just take some black and kind of dab back over. But it's going to dry a little bit darker than it goes on. So even if your gray looks a little bright, I would probably just give it a sec. All right, so we got a good first little dabbed layer through the middle too. So let's just wipe that one off and chunk that one in the water. All right, let's grab like a number six size brush and dry it off. And let's start with like a golden yellow. So a golden yellow, maybe even a little orange with it. And we're gonna start at the very top center of our donut. And we're gonna throw kind of like in kindergarten when you made the little Indian headbands. It's kind of gonna look like a big feather up there at the top. So you just want it to be like a little skinnier 
towards the middle and then a little skinnier at the top. It can kind of flare towards the edges. And once you have one at the top, just so you get the space in a little bit better, we'll skip over to the right, throw one over here off the right hand edge, then throw you one over here on the left. And that kind of helps with your spacing. So once you have top and then the left, the right, then I would go ahead and kind of divide those spaces and throw you like one in between. That'll just help keep you from curving around too much. These little pieces can kind of go off the edge a little. And then once you have those kind of evenly spaced in between, then we're just going to fill in with one or two. So whatever you have room for. So you might have more room than me or less room, but just go ahead and kind of fill in with one or two in between all these. Just keeping them skinnier towards the middle and the outside. So you're just kind of, they flare out touch the petals that are next to them. Now that we have like the start of all those petals, just grab a bunch of that gold with maybe even a little bit of light orange and we're just going to fill them all in just to get a quick little layer on there. And for right now, just kind of grab a bunch and fill them all in any which way. And then just keep grabbing more gold and we're just gonna fill in all of those petals with a layer. And when you're filling it in, just take it like all the way up to your middle because we can always bump back over the edge if you cover up some of our little bumps. just make sure you get some paint like all the way to the bottom don't try to you just want to look like the sunflowers kind of going right off the edge so make sure you take it to the bottom and make sure you take it to the center too So we got a good little layer on all of our petals. Then just kind of wipe off your extra and we'll grab some really dark red. 
It's like a cheer wine kind of color. And let's add a few petals in between up here at the top. I would add like three or four. And you just don't want them to come out like any further than those other ones. And I wouldn't do them, you know, all over. Just, just a few up here at the top. And then once you have a few, so I did like four little bits of petals in between, then we'll just fill in all the way to our gold. And then keep that cheer wine color on your brush. And now we'll throw a little bit at the bottom of our petals between like the petals and the center. I would fill in like all those little triangles. And if you didn't have a triangle, you can just kind of eat away at your petals to kind of make one if you got your petals too big. But I would go ahead and start by getting all of those little triangle sections just to get a little paint on there. And then once we have that, go ahead and keep the cheer wine color. You could even add a little bit of bright red with it. See that cheer wine and like a bright red. And now we're gonna add a little bit of dark through the edges of all of our petals. This will just kind of help define them. And don't worry if this gets a little thick because we're gonna come back and eat away at it anyway. Just kind of more towards the edges. bit of that kind of towards the outside of all of our little petals then I would even grab a little bit more of the bright red you can still have some cheer wine on your brush but mostly that bright red and over here through the right hand side so kind of to the right of your center the right of that donut I'm gonna do some little whoops so just kind of barely come off the edge And it's fine that your gold's still a little wet, kind of mixes in. And then I'm gonna keep those same colors on my brush, so bright red and a little. And now I'm gonna add some streaks through my petals. And whenever you're adding these streaks, it looks good to kind of have them long and kind of have them go with the flow of the petals. So you don't want them all like straight up and down. Make sure a few of your streaks kind of lean to the sides. Don't worry if like you're getting too many streaks because we're gonna come back and throw a ton of color. So we'll throw a lot of light back in here. Good little start on that. Let's go ahead and wipe our brush out, off and rinse it out just a little bit. 
And then we'll just use that same size brush, so like a number six, a good size, and dry it off. And let's grab some gold, kind of a golden yellow. And right where the black touches the dark brown through the middle, we're gonna do a few little bumps. And whenever you do that, you wanna load your brush with a lot of paint and then just be real light. And don't worry if your brown or black's still a little wet and kind of mixes in. But just kind of right here where the black and brown touch. And you even want to throw a few, just like a little bit more into the brown, a little bit more into the black, just so it won't be a perfect line. You can even grab just a teeny tiny bit of like pale orange with the gold and throw a few of that color. We can come back and do this later too once it's more dry. We get a few of that. So you have a few gold, a few of the orange, then just kind of wipe off your extra. And let's grab some pale yellows, so like a really light yellow. And we're gonna do a few of that color too. So you just kind of want to throw them everywhere where that black touches the brown. And they'll dry a little bit darker, but we can come back and check on it in a little bit, make sure we have it like we want it. See if we need to add more gold. Might have got too light, but we'll let it dry and come back. So then we'll go ahead and wipe that one off and chunk it in the water. All right, so now let's go ahead and grab like a number six size brush again and dry it off. And let's grab a little bit of orange and gold together. And we're gonna add a little bit of orange through some of our petals. I wouldn't do like all of them as much. I kind of keep it darker over here on the right hand side. So I'm gonna add a few more but whenever you're adding these dark streaks, I'm using that gold and the orange with like a number six or eight. You wanna make sure you're not going straight through the petal. Make sure you have some that curve with the shape of the petal. And don't worry if it's getting a little dark on you because we'll throw some lights. Let's get you in the mood for Thanksgiving. All right, let's go ahead. We've added a few oranges. Let's even add a little bit of bright red and dark orange together over here through the right-hand side. So where we had those little whoops on the edge, let's go ahead and do a few more of those. And then I would even add just a few of those through the lengths of the petal too. Just make sure when you're doing this, you don't do them like all through the middle or all near the edge. Just kind of try to mix it up so it looks a little bit more natural, less intentional. Do you, so you can see how we're keeping the dark, the right hand side just a little bit darker and some like more of these dark streaks through that side. We'll still add a few over here. Then let's go ahead and grab more of like the bright red with even a little bit of the cheer wine color. And now through our dark petals, we're just gonna add some streaks. So I would start low and come up with your stroke. And you're not trying to fill it in completely. You still wanna be able to see that dark underneath. So start low and be real light and come up with your stroke. And it's probably gonna dry a little bit darker than it goes on, so don't freak out if it's looking a little bright on you. All right, so that's a good start to add in the dark. Let's go ahead while we have that brush in the bright red, let's grab a little bit more cheer wine with it. And we're just gonna dab a little bit of that, the cheer wine, 
with a bright red just to thicken up where we had thrown that dark before near the centers just to get needed another little layer all right okay that's a good we got a good amount of dark so now let's wipe that one off and rinse it out really well And now let's grab some more of that pale yellow. So you wanna grab some pale yellow. And now we're gonna do some streaks through our petals with the pale yellow, but I would do these more towards the left-hand side. All right, so we'll grab more of that pale yellow and skip over towards the left-hand side because we're gonna do more of these light streaks on the left. And we're gonna be real light and throw some streaks through all these little petals on the left-hand side. And whenever you're streaking, make sure you have some that kind of curve with the petal so that they're not just going straight through the middle. So have some that kind of curve with the shape of your petal. We got a good start to our pale color. Let's go ahead while we have that brush and have some yellow, just kind of wipe off your extra and grab a little bit more gold. Cause I think we could use a, a few more little gold bumps through the middle. And let's just add a few more little dabs with the gold. Even the gold with a tiny bit of orange. All right, so we got the middle kind of dabbed up. Then just kind of wipe off your extra and let's grab like a milk chocolate brown again and all towards the gold ones, towards the center. Let's do a skip around and do a few dabs with a milk chocolate. So it's kind of right on the outside of those gold ones. You can even have a few overlap the edge. and just kind of skip around. And whenever you're doing these, load your brush with a lot of paint and just kind of hit with the side of the brush. It's easier, like the more paint you have on it, so keep grabbing more and then just be real light with it. But you wanna have a bunch, because it looks good how we had those bumps before, but this is making it look even better, adding some more to it. All right, so we got some more milk chocolate color in there. Let's grab more of that dark brown and we're gonna do, skip around and do a few more dark brown. And this time when you're doing the dark brown, you can have a few overlap that edge again, cause that's gonna bump out that edge how we wanted it a little bumpy on the edge. So throw a few over the edge, live on the edge a little bit. And don't worry if some of that sheer one is kind of mixing in with the dark brown. That'll just make it look better. Definitely getting the center a little bit better looking with all these bumps. Okay, now that we have that kind of bumped out, then just kind of wipe off your extra and let's grab more of that dark gray with a little black and we're gonna add some more of those little bumps through the middle. Especially if you like you couldn't see any of your bumps. Just go back with some dark gray and a little bit of black. And we're just gonna add a, a few more bumps to the middle. And then once again, if your gray gets a little out of control, just take some black and kind of bump back in there. 
but it will dry a little darker than it goes on. And then once you have that, let's go ahead and wipe off our extra and chunk that one in the water. And let's grab a little bit smaller size brush, so like a number four, and dry it off. And now we're just gonna kinda make the ends of our petals just a little bit prettier. So number four, and dry it off and grab some more of that cheer wine color. And just in a few places, so you don't have to outline the whole thing, we're gonna load our brush with a lot of paint and be really light and add some dark just to kind of help define the petals. And if you have trouble with the number four, you can even grab like a teeny tiny brush. So like a, a little number one, a little liner brush, since that's what we're kind of doing. And if you needed to add any dark back in through the top of these dark petals, you can do that now too. But I would just kind of be real light with it and add a few streaks. All right, we've added a little bit of dark. Go ahead and wipe that one off and grab some more of the bright red and dark orange. And then you can even use that to throw like a few more dark streaks anywhere where you need to have a little bit more contrast. And like I said before, like the more paint you have on here, the better it is to blend. So we got a little bit of that going on. Now we'll just come back and streak a little bit through our petals and we'll be done. So just kind of wipe that one off and chunk it in the water. And let's grab a number six size brush and kind of rinse it out and dry it off. And I would grab some more of that golden yellow with even a little bit of pale yellow. And this is where you can come back, like add a few more line, a few more streaks anywhere where it got too dark. And the same thing over here through this edge, like the gold, maybe even a little bit of pale orange and anywhere where you needed to thin down any of the dark. All right, now we'll let that dry for a second. So just wipe off your extra and chunk it in the water. I would grab a teeny tiny brush, like a number one, your little liner brush again, and go ahead and sign it. And now we have a fall sunflower. much for tuning in today. Be sure to check us out. We're on Cox Street in Ashboro. And be sure to check out our website, www.thepreppypossum.com.